The color CSS property sets the foreground color value of an element's text and text decorations, and sets the current color value. Current color may be used as an indirect value on other properties and is the default for other color properties, such as border color. This are all CSS examples on how to declare a color. Next, I would like to give an emphasis on the structure of a CSS file, this is composed of selector, a property, and each property has a corresponding value. For this example, h1 is a selector, the color is the property, and the value is the specific color that we set. Let's create a new HTML file, then. I'll create three different headers, a button and a paragraph, then we will apply style using an external CSS. This way we can apply and see the differences upon applying a CSS. Save your file in a folder, then let's create a new file for our CSS. First, we need to set our selector, h2, followed by a bracket, then the proper example is color, then value will be your own liking. Then followed by the h3 and the button, color property allows you to change the font color in CSS. You can either set an exact color like red, blue, yellow and many other, but we can also set another value, which will be discussed on the other topic. After this, save your file with a.css file extension name. Save it in another folder where the HTML file is located, this way both should be in the same folder but separated by different folders inside. This is how it looks like upon saving the file, proceed to your HTML file, then link the style sheet to the CSS file. Using the link tag, be sure to indicate the proper address of the file if the CSS file is in a different file folder. Then the file should be in a.css file format. And this is how it looks like upon opening your HTML document. We can also set the background color using background dask color as our property and set any value. So this how versatile using an external CSS wherein changes can be done in a separate file so that we can navigate it easily. We can change the background color by using body as the selector, then set property background color. I hope you learned something in this tutorial. Thank you for watching.